Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. When was the last time you considered that a sugar-free snack could still nudge you toward type 2 diabetes? Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and alongside me is Alara Skye. Today you'll discover how everyday mixtures of food additives quietly raise your risk for type 2 diabetes, even if you're otherwise eating well. Thanks, Ethan. Most people focus on cutting sugar, yet research now shows that combinations of common additives, especially in ultra-processed foods and sweetened drinks, disrupt your metabolism in ways that single ingredients do not. A large eight-year French cohort study followed more than 108,000 adults. Instead of looking at one additive at a time, the researchers tracked the blends you encounter in real life. Two mixtures stood out. Mixture 5, common in sodas, and Mixture 2, found in processed dairy desserts and canned broths, were strongly linked to higher diabetes incidence. Even participants who logged overall healthy diets weren't spared. When their meals still included those additive blends, their diabetes risk climbed. That means choosing low-fat yogurt, or a light salad dressing doesn't protect you if hidden stabilizers, dyes, and artificial sweeteners accompany them. Let's break down mixture five. It contains citric acid, phosphoric acid, aspartame, sucralose, acesulfame K, caramel coloring, and gums that improve texture. Separate safety tests say each is tolerable. Together, they appear to stress your cells, damage DNA, and interfere with insulin signaling. The second high-risk blend mixture 2, pairs modified starches with pectins, carrageenan, guar gum, polyphosphates, potassium sorbate, curcumin, and xanthan gum. In lab studies, carrageenan alone can impair glucose tolerance and erode the gut's protective mucus layer. When combined with the other additives, the harm escalates. Cellular experiments back this up. Scientists exposed human liver, colon, kidney, and neuron cells to everyday concentrations of these mixtures. Individually, the additives looked harmless. In combination, two of the six tested blends caused DNA breaks, mitochondrial stress, and reduced cell survival. One measurable sign was a spike in gamma H2AX, your cell's distress signal for DNA damage. Colon and liver cells were hit hardest, but kidney and nerve cells were also affected. Such genotoxic stress lays groundwork for insulin resistance and chronic disease. Another marker, phosphorylated histone, H3, revealed trouble during mitosis. When additives disrupt orderly cell division, you end up with faulty repair processes and uncontrolled inflammation, two drivers of metabolic dysfunction. It's striking that regulators still assess additives one by one. Real-world meals resemble chemical cocktails, not isolated test tubes. Safety panels miss the synergy. Some additives amplify each other's toxicity, while others hide it until later stages. Let's connect this to your daily routine. Picture a mid-afternoon break. You grab a diet soda and a flavored yogurt. On paper, you've limited calories and sugar. In practice, you've delivered mixture five plus core components of mixture two to your gut, liver, and pancreas. Over weeks and months, that steady drip of emulsifiers, sweeteners, and colorants destabilizes your microbiome. Beneficial bacteria decline, opportunistic strains thrive, and the intestinal barrier loosens. Blood sugar stays elevated longer, and insulin must work over time. The same study detected both synergistic and antagonistic interactions among additives. Six pairings in mixture, two magnified harm, while four seemed to counteract each other. That unpredictability means trusting labels like light or diet is unreliable protection. You can reclaim control by focusing on food that never needed additives. Whole fruits, vegetables, pasture-raised meats, eggs, and raw or minimally processed dairy nourish you without chemical crutches. Biodynamic or regenerative farms go a step further, avoiding synthetic inputs from soil to plate. Teach your family this detective work. Kids can spot the difference between an apple and an apple-flavored pouch. Older relatives may remember when foods came without additive paragraphs. Share tastings of fresh produce so everyone experiences how real food feels in their bodies. For beverages, swap sodas and flavored waters for filtered water with a squeeze of citrus, 
unsweetened herbal tea, or sparkling water without additives. You cut off mixture five at its main source and give your palate a chance to reset. Dining out? Ask simple questions. Do you use pre-mixed sauces? Is the broth house made? Restaurants often default to packaged bases thickened with gums and stabilized with preservatives. Choosing establishments that cook from scratch limits unseen chemical blends. Let's address a common concern, expense. Whole foods can be affordable when you prioritize staples. Seasonal produce, bulk legumes, bone-in meat cuts, and eggs. The hidden healthcare costs of chronic disease far exceed the price gap at checkout. Another tip is batch cooking. Prepare large portions of additive-free stews or roasts, then portion them for quick meals. You sidestep convenience foods where mixtures lurk and keep your weekly budget in check. Some listeners ask whether small amounts of additives are truly dangerous. Remember, the studies used intake levels that mirror typical diets, not megadoses. Chronic exposure, even at acceptable daily intakes, compounded across meals and products, is the issue. And it's not just about diabetes. The same cellular stress and mitochondrial disruption lay groundwork for obesity, fatty liver, and cognitive decline. Protecting metabolic health protects your entire physiology. Regulators are beginning to acknowledge mixture effects, but policy changes move slowly. Meanwhile, your quickest leverage is personal choice. Each purchase signals demand. When sales of additive-laden products fall, companies reformulate or lose market share. You also influence friends and community. Share articles, host label reading challenges, or organize trips to farmers markets. Collective shifts in purchasing create pressure for transparency and cleaner formulations. Before we wrap, let's recap. Research links two primary additive combinations, one in sweetened beverages, one in processed foods, to heighten type 2 diabetes risk, even among otherwise healthy eaters. These blends damage your microbiome, DNA, and cellular energy systems. You can counter that risk by eliminating ultra-processed products, choosing whole or regenerative foods, reading labels critically, and educating loved ones about hidden chemical cocktails. Here's your challenge. Today, remove one processed snack or drink containing artificial sweeteners, gums, or preservatives, and replace it with a whole food option. Then pay attention to how you feel. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.